Tonight, local bluegrass musicians played for one of their own, a benefit concert in West Asheville. They were all playing for Sam Wharton, a popular mountain bluegrass musician who's been diagnosed with a serious brain condition. News 13's Ashley Searles is streaming live for us at the Isis Restaurant in West Asheville. Ashley, big turnout, hundreds of people tonight. That's right. Hundreds of people showed up to this show that's actually still going on. The owner of ISIS expected about 400 folks to come out. So that's just about a packed house, which is really impressive when you think for, that tickets for this thing were about $30 a piece. Take a listen. Now you can hear that plenty of folks thought it was worth it. The Grammy-nominated Darren Nicholson band played for the first set. The Steep Canyon Rangers then took the stage for the second. And these musicians, and to these musicians, this was a very special show. Just the kind of guy that would give you the shirt off his back. Just a real solid friend. And a lot of us uh, have picked with Sam in the past over the last 15 years or so in various kinds of situations. So. We all know him as a, as a friend and as a fellow musician. Now that was the owner of Isis Music Hall you heard talking at the end there. It was just last month that Sam Wharton was suddenly diagnosed with a very serious brain condition. So his friends have scrambled to hold this benefit tonight. Right now, Wharton is in rehab, even expected to come home as soon as this week. But it is a very long road to recovery for him and his family, and an expensive one. He's got three young kids and a wife, so proceeds from tonight are going to the Whartons to handle the thousands of dollars in expenses they're now dealing with. Now, if you weren't able to make it out tonight and you want to help the Wharton family, there's a way to do that. They've got a website set up, and we've got a link to that website set up on ours at WLOS.com. Reporting live tonight in West Asheville, I'm Ashley Sorrell. News 13.